Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. Today I'm going to talk about a video that was requested specifically from a subscriber on a previous video of mine to cover the enhancements with the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro as far as Rainbow Six Siege goes. If you didn't know, in the patch notes, they actually increased the resolutions, which I'm going to put on screen on the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro. And I wasn't sure if the original Xbox one s and the original xbox we're gonna get this patch i have mine hooked up to a television so i can't tell you for sure based off of my own experience whether or not they did whether or not they do look better i can tell you for a fact though that the xbox one x version on a 1080p monitor because i use a 1080p um acer monitor it's 144 hertz and on that monitor it looks a lot clearer now and it is equal to my ps4 version now I like that because I prefer to play on Xbox. I don't know. It's just something about Xbox. I like it a lot better. It's easier to record clips. And the software is a lot better, but the game always looked and ran better on PlayStation. As far as the netcode goes, I'm going to blame Operation Parabellum for the issues as far as lag. And I'm going to put some clips on here that I captured from Xbox. Some of it will be just cool gameplay clips that I want to share. And some of it is going to be some of the laggy, just the laggy BS that was happening yesterday. I know there's going to be a patch because you can't leave your game in this state. It's pretty much, it's halfway broken. The servers are bad, man. On um, PC, I was having a hard time connecting to people, but the game plays fine. On PS4, right after the update, um, I couldn't connect, which is whatever. Like, the servers probably weren't done being updated, and that's okay. Because um, that's just one of those things that... They probably were just still rolling it out. But on Xbox, I mean, I was on there this morning. I was on it yesterday, uh, twice. And it's it's in a, in a rough way right now. So we went from having pretty decent, pretty stable servers to um, a hot mess right now. So hopefully they create a patch uh, sometime soon to make the game play better. But the game already looks better. And I don't know if it comes from that, though. You see what I mean? I don't know if... I know they did a lot with um, the resolution scale. Like, they, moved, they bumped it up to, like, 1700p something a little higher on the X and it's a 50% 50 resolution scale. So on PC, what that does is that processes the game at X resolution, but displays it at a different resolution uh, so that you don't, you, the computer doesn't try as hard, essentially keeping, keep it basic and you get better performance that way. Um, so instead of like lowering your resolution to like 720p, you would just do a, a lower resolution scale to 720p versus just actually outputting in 720p. You see what I mean? So um, I think that might be some of it. I think they might've cranked it up a little too high. They may end up, you know, just enhancing some things, changing some of the backend settings to make it actually run better. Uh, that would be really, really smart for them because right now, uh, like for instance, there's gonna be a, a clip in here where there's a literally a door that's just floating like in the map. Um, people are literally gliding around. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. I tell you, this it's broken right now. It's a broken, beautiful mess. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. And uh, if there's anything you want to see from Operation Parabellum, just drop it in the comment section. Uh, I'll be sure to <clears throat> to read those and get back to you guys as soon as I can. I'm also going to put in the description the name of the subscriber that requested this. I don't have it off the top of my head, but um, I'll get it on there. So you guys be easy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Op four eliminated. Mission successful. Operator remaining. Four last operator standing. 
Securing the container. Prevent further access to the biohazard container. Biohazard container steering paused. Take out the hostiles. Controlled area. Leave now. Press Incoming adrenaline boost. Friendly 